Hey friends, welcome to Andy's Audio Crap, where we talk about audio crap. This is a JVC, very simple, AL-A1, and this is what we're going to talk about on this episode. Oh, and we're going to cover P cartridges too. P mount cartridges, not urine cartridges. Anyways, yeah, on with the show. So let's talk about JVC as a organization, company, whatever. It's called Japan Vector Company, JVC. And they started like in the 1920s. Of course, they went through the war and then they went through the, the 60s and 70s. And in the 70s and 80s, they really produced some really, really good stuff. But the 90s kicked their tail and eventually they were just bought out by like Kenwood or they merged with Kenwood, one of the two, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, somehow or another it got uh, to be JVC Kenwood and uh, they, they did okay. They, they still are in business and you'll see some of their stuff around here and there, but mostly it's like car audio and communications devices and, and some video equipment here and there. But uh, as far as like a household name, they're not, uh, they're not that well known anymore. If you talk to somebody, you know, that's uh, high school, college right now and ask them, you know, what is JVC? They're going to say they don't know, most likely, unless, you know, they're into audio gear, vintage audio gear. Now, uh, this is like a, an absolute dead simple turntable. I love this type because of the simplicity. Uh, this one needed no maintenance whatsoever. Uh, new stylus. I put a new stylus on it and uh, replaced the cartridge with an AT92E, which, you know, we'll talk about cartridges here in just a second. It's just an up and down level, level, lever for the cueing uh, button, if you will, I guess. Uh, and then you have your speed select and that's it. There's just a stop, so it does have auto stop, so when it gets to the end of the record, it'll take care of itself. Awesome sauce, I love that. I've lost um, stylus due to uh, getting into the center of the record there and then hopping up onto the, the paper and uh, then me not finding it until the next morning. So that's my bad. Uh, I'll own that. The cushioning on this one, the legs are great. They're awesome. They do a really good job of isolating. There I go, I shake you guys. And then the uh, the puck, it actually has its puck and it does have a really nice spot for the puck that'll actually hold it instead of just the recess. And then the actual cover itself, the dust cover itself, beautiful condition. Uh, this for a vintage unit is just absolutely wonderful. I, I really like these, the simple, uh, I don't know what you'd call this aluminum look to uh, the actual uh, plate. Awesome sauce. The mat is original. Oh, and this mat. I don't know if the video can actually show this, but it's got a really cool texture to it. I really like it. It almost looks like material. Uh, I really do like that. That's really cool, but it has no buffering in it whatsoever. Uh, so anywho, let's see here. Let's turn it to the right side of the record. I really need to replace this record. I just, I got onto eBay on my last film. I meant to buy one. I didn't. So uh, let's dig into uh, P-mount cartridges here for just a second, because this video is also talking about P-mount cartridges. And and P-mount is is this style. If you're not familiar with P-mount, let's see here. Let's lower that, lock that down. And so you unscrew them from the side. You just have a little screw. These screws are important because they actually are part of the weight. And on most of these P-mounts, uh, they're like linear and this style of turntable they did not have an adjustable weight so this one does not have an adjustable weight and they just slide right off and then they slide right back in and the benefit of that is that they're standard and and what p stands for in p mount uh, it's a abbreviation for a uh, plug and play so and that's literally what it is it's just you know you take one out you put another one in and bam you're ready to play right so that's in, in contrast to uh, having to take a head shell, in this case we have a, a vintage Pioneer head shell, uh, finding a cartridge you like, okay, 
and then screwing around and mounting that cartridge and then uh you know plugging it in and uh adjusting the the distance so forward and and backwards and maybe even adjusting the yaw or the turn in it and and you just you you have to be like on it you you really need to be a hobbyist to to really want to fuss with it and i do i fuss with them like here is my grace f9 with a bunch of hair on it oh god and then here is um uh, an at95 i i love this one uh, uh really good uh, i like my grace too but and then here's a gold um audio technica i can't remember what this one is it's gold it's it's pretty uh, it looks expensive it sounds great but then i have like uh um at30 600 and god knows what this at is um the cartridge isn't staying very well and then i've got this one with the green uh versus the red and uh you know i just you can go insane with how much stuff you can gather but the 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 problem is is that to set all these up takes a lot of time every time i change one out the you know the difference in weight between you know this one and this one is is drastic this is solid look it's a gemini <laughs> of all things i put it on it's pretty heavy and while well, this one's really light it's an ion it's like is this pressed probably aluminum maybe i don't know the paint probably weighs more than the metal on that thing all right that's that but these p mounts are are pretty awesome sauce because it was like you just take them out put your next one in bam you're done that's it and this one in particular is really cool this is an audio technica at 20 ep and uh it had the the cover built into it and it snapped this one's discolored looks like it got a little bit of uv directly on it and then uh here's a garado there was a lot of variety in these they, i don't know that anybody actually makes them anymore they might i haven't ran into like a brand brand new one nor have i looked i just take my vintage ones i'm happy with it orchafon uh here's audio technica this one's a nice one i really like this one actually here's another audio technica so see you you see what they were going for here you know the same same company different look and feel this one has kind of more of an industrial feel to it I, yeah anyways it's uh in a bigger oh frame and these are plastic and then a smaller frame and uh, so one of the other cool things about p-mount let's let's put them all up here uh is that first of all you could use them in a regular player they had these mounts that you could put on a regular um head shell and you could turn a regular turntable with a regular head shell into a p-mount and i find these occasionally i hang on to them when i find them because they're like gold to me they are uh the other thing that was really interesting about p-mount and let's take the record off here so i can put this in screenshot is when we take and measure the p-mount cartridges themselves so let's zero that out i think that zeroes it out okay so now we're going to be at negative five grams is that when i put this on here it's going to be plus one gram so that's six grams so this is 1.03 i don't know if you can actually see that not at a really good angle so 1.03 so six dot oh three this one is 0.96 so 5.96 so it's very very similar to weight and that one is a 0.97 the point I'm getting at here is they were actually all very close in weight. So you didn't need to mess with the counterweight. You just swap in your new one, take out your old one. That one's 1.07. Let's go again. 1.12. That's the heaviest one out of the bunch so far. They're really handy. I, I love them. And if you have a player like this and um you you 
you do have the opportunity to swap these out, which is awesome sauce over the fixed mount cartridges that they have in like, um, let's see here, what, what would, um, the the new LP60s. So, and, and all of your Victrolas and, you know, your, your entry level turntables nowadays, whereas this was kind of an entry level turntable back in the day, they're all fixed now, so you can't mess around with it. And there is so much difference um, between, uh, you know, even even this dude and this dude right here. Actually, the Grotto, uh, extreme amount of difference between this and, and, say, this one here. This one I listen to a lot. It, it's just, they take away all that flexibility, so you're stuck buying a new turntable. Whereas with this one, even though you may not ever want to change that out, you do have the option. You're not stuck. All right. I hope that clarified the benefits of P-Mount and that I'm a fan. You can tell. I also do like my fixed mount head shells. Love this one. And I, I really like this one. This one is freaking awesome sauciness. And this one here, I don't know if Grace ever made a, a cartridge. By the way, this one is, is a Kenwood stylus on a Grace cartridge because um, I only have one Grace stylus and I reserve that for very, 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 very special listening moments, which I've had none of recently, unfortunately. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and uh, have a good day.